By government order, on Monday morning, queues formed in Beijing for the first round of mass testing. In the capital's largest district, they have found a cluster of COVID cases and the elimination tactics of China's zero COVID policy have been enforced. Fearing a lockdown, people have begun stockpiling supplies. I'm buying lots of eggs. We can't if we're locked down. I'll stockpile some. We held the Olympics, so we should have more confidence, but I will stock up a bit. It's believed the virus had been spreading undetected for at least a week. In a population this size, more cases are a certainty. All of us living and working in the Chaoyang area must get tested three times this week. Anyone in this crowd who tests positive, whether they have symptoms or not, will be taken to a centralised quarantine facility. Being sent to a COVID prison, as they've been dubbed in Shanghai, is what worries people more than getting the virus itself. There are still millions stuck in these awful mass isolation centres. The numbers have crept back up in Shanghai, leading to even harsher measures. Fences have been erected around the exits in some communities to block people in. For some, it was clearly the final straw. The Chinese censors are struggling to contain the level of dissent. This video of people voicing their anger and pleas for help has gone viral. Most are too afraid to show their face, like a woman we spoke to whose mother desperately needs chemotherapy and whose baby was quarantined with its father. At the beginning, they told us that we were closed until the fall. And we, we prepared just one week for the food. Then we don't have enough to eat. My mother is sick. She needs to go to the hospital. I think the problem is the, the information is not uh, informed well to us. Disrupted supply chains and grim economic forecasts haven't forced a relaxation of COVID policy. These truck drivers told us they've been unable to move for a month. We could help send supplies or whatever they need. We'd even dare to go to the quarantine hotel, but we're not allowed. With the capital now on high alert, trying to contain its own outbreak, controls could get even tighter. Debbie Edward, News at 10, Beijing.